something funny happened many years ago. Maybe it will be like 23 or 22 years ago. Maybe the church will be like three or four or five years at the most. And they brought me a shoe. That shoe was 7,000 naira at that time. And I said, seven whole thousand. I should carry 7,000 and use and buy one shoe. Does the shoe have tires? So, because to me, it was too costly then. And at that time, I wasn't sure if I have given God 7,000 at once in one offering. How can I use on myself what I have not given to God? I refuse to buy that shoe. Today, shoe is not my testimony. God saw how I refused to spend on shoe in favor of him. If I, if I bring shoes out at times, I might become a shoe seller if possible. By virtue of volume, I, I, I release out like water and they're still there. And I don't go to buy by his message. But I say, how can I use 7,000 to buy one shoe? And God heard it. And a few weeks later, I used 50,000 to buy Bible, to buy message, to buy this, to invest in the all kingdom, 50,000, the same season. And God saw it. You know, it is at the junction that road divide. The reason why we are not all at the same level is because of our, of our pathways. Am I communicating? If it was to buy aircraft, would have buys, bought since. Since that is not church, personal. Voluminous money that could do that release at once into the kingdom, especially when this project was on, this one. And God saw it. <laughs> and God says, get ready. When I get ready for you, you won't have aircraft. It will, it will be aircrafts. I've seen it in Revelation. And, and in practicalization. Am I communicating? I'd like you to understand something. God does not only see what you do, God sees why you do them. 